Hello everyone and welcome to our very first time in the AP Biology um, at Home Laboratory. Hoping each week to take you on kind of a fun lab journey where you'll get to see some cool experiments um, and demonstrations that you would have done at school if we were in the um, brick and mortar environment, but that I still want you to be able to partake in and have some fun getting to kind of play a little bit or at least pretend like you're playing and not me and see some of the magic of science. So I wanted to start this week by talking about the molecule water, because we're going to be talking about a lot about water this week, about how it's such a, an important molecule and about why it behaves the way that it behaves due to its structure, to how the molecule is put together. So first thing I want to remind you is that the formula for water is H2O, and you can see that there are three atoms in this molecule, so the two white ones and the red one, and this is the first hydrogen, this is the second hydrogen, and this is the oxygen, the red one that you see right here. So H1, H2, and then here's my O for H2O, so this is my water. And water is kind of a funny molecule because of the way that the electrons are held. So when you think about the oxygen, this red molecule down here, it has six electrons, and those six electrons are whirling around all the time um, around this particular molecule, around this atom in this molecule, making this bottom part very, very negative. So lots of electrons. Electrons have negative charge, and so they're going to have a very negative um, pole or negative part of this molecule. In contrast, the white ones, which are my hydrogens, they only have one electron, and they share that electron with the oxygen that they're bonded to. And so although they do have a little negativity, they're not nearly as negative as the, as the oxygen is with its kind of six electrons and the two that it's borrowing from hydrogen whirring around all the time. And so that gives me a polar molecule. And if you think of polar, like um, the globe polar, like the magnetic fields of the Earth, or like a magnet polar with its positive end and its negative end, water works very much the same way. So because it's less negative, the hydrogens kind of act as a positive pole. And because of all the electrons here, it's more negative, the oxygen is going to act like a negative pole. And this is important when water molecules get together. So when I have two water molecules together, so I've got two molecules of H2O, then I'm going to find when I try to put them together that they, they don't really attach the white to white or the red to red. Like they don't like to do that. They repel each other, kind of like you could imagine trying to force two magnets together. But if I try to attach a negative end, the red part, to a positive end, well now they're going to stick together. They're going to stick together in this temporary bond, this temporary connection that holds them together because of that idea that opposite charges attract each other. And it's kind of neat. So I'm going to just point my camera down for a second and I want to show you this on the lab bench. So here's one water molecule, here's another water molecule. And if I bring them together so that I bring the white to the white, you'll notice that they kind of repel each other, so that it makes them move around. They orient and then they attach to each other. And in liquid form, this is happening all the time. So the water molecule is moving around, spinning around, and connecting, again, temporarily with the oxygen to the hydrogen, and then it breaks and the oxygen to the hydrogen, but never hydrogen to hydrogen or oxygen to oxygen. And this, this connection, this temporary connection between the two molecules, or more than two molecules, this is called a hydrogen bond. So here's two molecules. Okay. Here's a whole glass of water, and this glass of water, you can see again, the molecules all bonded together, and as they would be bonded, they would be rolling around each other with those hydrogen bonds, those very loose temporary connections moving as they make those hydrogen bonds with each other. So that is miraculous water, and we're going to look, we're going to look at the rest of the videos on what that actually does in order of real water, we're probably going to spill some in a minute, and how it makes this stuff behave. All right, I'll see you in a little bit.